Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to do bubble printing. For bubble printing, you're going to need a few things. First of all, we're going to need some dish soap. It doesn't matter what type of dish soap as long as we've got soap to make our bubbles. You're also going to need paper to put your beautiful artwork on. You'll need water, you'll need a drinking straw, and you're going to need something to make color with. So I've got several options. Hopefully you have something like this at home, but we've got some paint that you can use. This is just a craft acrylic paint, or you could use some food coloring and that could help you with your color as well. To start with, I'm going to take my dish soap and in my little cup of water here, notice I don't have a lot of water. I'm going to add just a little bit of dish soap. You don't need a whole lot, so just a little bit there. I'm going to go ahead and do that to both of them. And I'm going to use a spoon to try and stir it together a little bit. This is going to help incorporate the bubbles into the water just a little bit better. So that way, when we start to blow the bubbles, it's all really well mixed. One thing I should point out about this is I've got a tray underneath my cups. That's really going to help you to not get too messy because some of the bubbles might go over the top of our cup and we want to make sure that we're not making a big mess, especially when we have color in them. I'm going to show you the paint first. With the paint, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit. It's kind of solid at first and it really needs to be mixed in well. So I want to go ahead and use my spoon to stir that too and try and get it really well mixed. And then like I said, the other option was food coloring. My food coloring isn't a liquid. If you have a liquid, that's probably going to work a little bit better, but mine is a little bit thicker, almost like the craft paint I have. And so I will want to stir this one up too. So now that I've got a little bit of that color in there, I'm going to use my spoon and go ahead and mix that really, really well with my water. All right, next step, we have to start making the bubbles. So with the bubbles, you're going to be using a straw. Most of the time, our instinct is we want to drink with a straw, but with this, we don't want to drink because it's not going to taste very good. Soap, paint, ugh, that's not going to be good. So make sure you're always blowing through instead of sucking in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow some bubbles. You'll notice that it's going to go way above the cup, and that's okay because we've got our tray here to catch anything that might go over the side. Nice, tall bubbles. I'm going to take my piece of paper, and now I'm going to smush the bubbles down. Now, I have to warn you, it's going to be a little bit light at first because it doesn't have all of the colors mixed in, and so it's going to be a little bit hard for my camera to see right now, but as those bubbles continue to pop, they're going to leave a little bit of residue, and that's going to create a bubble shape on your paper. I'm going to do this as many times as I can to kind of fill up my paper. I'm only going to do this for the video, though, a couple more times just so you can see it. So again, nice and tall and then smush them down. Then I pull it back up and now I can see some more bubbles. And then I smush them down. I think that's probably the most fun part for me is the smushing part. Okay, I think I'm gonna do blue one more time and then I'll show you some of the red. And then I smush them down with my paper. Awesome. So now it's really starting to look like different bubble shapes on my paper. All right, I'll move my blue aside for a minute, and now I'll see how the red food coloring works. Remember, blow out, don't suck in. Ooh, nice tall bubbles. And I can smush them down. Ooh, that turned out really cool. I'll show you in just a second. There we go, this is turning out great. I'll do one more and then I'll show you up close on the camera. Ooh, did you see how tall that got? And again, it's a good thing I have my tray to catch those bubbles. There we go, and now I've got lots of bubbles showing up on my paper. Now, I have noticed it's a little bit easier if you have a thicker type paper. Sometimes with computer paper, it's a little bit thin, and it doesn't show up the color quite as well. It just ends up being kind of a wet piece of paper. So if you have something that's a little more thick, that's probably going to help you. 
Also, if you notice that your colors aren't very bright, like I said, keep making the bubbles because sometimes the color has to get mixed in a little bit better. But also, it could be that you had too much water or too many bubbles. So make sure that you keep just half of a glass maybe of water and just a little bit of soap. You don't need very much to be able to do this. So in the meantime, I hope you have some of these uh, supplies that you can use and I hope you have tons of fun trying this out.